everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mohit and you're watching Textra. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most essential and unique feature provided by Apple for its products. One that can be super important in safeguarding our digital lives from highly sophisticated cyber attacks. Introducing the Lockdown Mode. According to Apple, it is an optional extreme protection designed for a very few individuals based on who they are or what they do. For those who might be personally targeted by some of the most highly advanced digital threats, this is used to harden your device, or in simpler language, it is used to strengthen the security of your device against tremendously advanced and complex online attacks using the most capable hacking techniques. It is available on most of the Apple products like iPhones, iPads, and the MacBooks. You might be surprised to know that this feature isn't new. It was introduced back in September last year. However, despite its significance, most of the Apple enthusiasts are still unaware of its existence. So if you want to stay updated in this technological world, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. This feature was first released with the iOS 16 for iPhones and later got released for iPads and the MacBooks. Cyber attacks happens every day, every minute and every second costing companies millions of dollars around the world. And that's why it's crucial to understand what lockdown mode can do for you. Let's understand what exactly it does. This lockdown mode lets you put your iPhone, iPad, or MacBook into a highly secured state. Using this feature is entirely optional. However, the moment you enable this functionality, it disables a bunch of specific features, reducing the overall attack surface significantly. With this basic understanding, let me first show you how to enable this feature on your iPhone. Simply go to Settings and scroll down to tap on Privacy and Security. After this, scroll down once again and tap on Lockdown Mode. This screen provides a brief overview about what Lockdown Mode is all about and allows you to tap on Turn on Lockdown Mode. On the next final screen, it gives you a brief overview about the applications and settings that will be impacted with this feature being enabled. Once you decide, just tap Turn on Lockdown Mode and your iPhone will restart with this feature being enabled. Next, I'm going to show you how to enable this functionality on your MacBook, which is just as easy. Click on the Apple icon on the top left corner and then click System Settings. From here, navigate to Privacy and Security. Scroll down until you find Lockdown Mode. Now, click on Turn On. And on this Privacy and Security pop-up, you can either use the Touch ID or enter the password to authenticate. Alternatively, if you have an Apple Watch that's paired with your MacBook, then the moment you click on Turn On, you will also get a notification on your Apple Watch, using which you can authenticate. Once you approve, you will see a final message to turn on this feature with the restart. Now, let's dive into some of the specific details pertaining to what exactly happens when this lockdown mode is enabled. Certain apps and features will function differently to enhance the security. Messages. Most message attachments will be blocked, although certain images, videos, and audio files will still be accessible. Link previews and some other features will be unavailable. Web browsing. Certain complex web technologies will be blocked, resulting in slower loading times or to not operate correctly. Web fonts may not display correctly and images might be replaced with a missing image icon. FaceTime. Incoming FaceTime calls will be blocked, except for contacts with whom you have previously communicated. Configuration profiles. You won't be able to install configuration profiles or enroll your device in mobile device management or device supervision while lockdown mode is active. Phone calls and plain text messages will continue to work while this lockdown mode is enabled. Emergency features like SOS emergency calls will not be affected. Remember, lockdown mode is not intended for everyday use, but rather as a defense against highly sophisticated cyber attacks. It's especially crucial for high-risk individuals like human rights defenders, politicians, journalists, and dissidents who may be targeted 
with extreme threats like mercenary spyware. It is an extreme privacy and security feature and is important to people for whom security matters the most. Now, the biggest question of all, should you enable this lockdown mode feature on your iPhone? Well, for most people in regular scenarios, it's not necessary to enable it all the time. However, depending upon your location and the nature of your work, enabling this feature can add that extra layer of security. And if you know specifically that you're targeted, then it becomes an essential security measure. The great thing is you can try out lockdown mode anytime you like. It's a reversible setting that you can enable or disable with ease. Just remember that your device will need to restart for the changes to take effect. To summarize, lockdown mode offers a powerful defense in depth cybersecurity strategy giving you peace of mind and protecting your Apple products from various cyber threats by adding an additional layer of security. All right, so that's a wrap on sharing some insights about the lockdown mode. I hope you found this video informative and engaging. And if you learned something new today, then please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and for more exciting tech content, please subscribe to my channel, Tech Strive.